love a good thrifting road trip, but for obvious reasons, they weren't so easy to plan lately. I guess you could say life got a bit crazy with a baby, a couple engagements, lots of moves, but after a long awaited year and a half, the thrift gang finally got back together to hit up Canada's largest flea market, something we've been meaning to do for forever, and this just seemed like the perfect excuse to do so and break in that thrifting cart that I got a couple months ago. <laughs> a little bit sidetracked already, but if I see a sign, I'm gonna stop. I got red cowboy boots and these sunglasses, which were just giving me like Miami vibes. Okay, this is the manifest of this. Oh my god. Such a great way to start. I know. Like we're not in Canada right now. This is a great feeling. There they are. Hello. Hello. You bought anything yet? Oh yes, I did. Oh, Not what me. did you buy? I bought this. Oh, so pretty. My birthstone. Oh. Why do I love this jacket? So cute. Fancy finds. This jacket is just as far as you know. If you're interested in it. Okay, we just got here, so I'm gonna leave okay. it for now, but that's a really it's a good, really good it's really beautiful. So crazy how you'll just walk into like a little barn and coach shoes. Those are cute, honestly. Discovering this place is really interesting and I just realized I don't have mascara on, so if I look a little weird, that's why. Oh, that looks nice. I have one. Yeah. Measuring tape. Look at the little mushroom. Wait, that's the little cheese. All right, guys. I found what I thought was cool. Those green jug things. But let's see Daniel's response. Let's just say our home style is like, it's coming together. He always knows. I mean, he's he's not wrong, actually. Now I can't unsee that. <laughs> I feel like we're entering like a oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're like entering a majestical land and I've already lost my friends, so. You know, we don't do this that often, but I think we're also just overwhelmed about like, oh, I found one of them, not being in the city. It's like the magical forest. I know, it's nice and cool here too. I know, magical fairy tale. Okay, just made my first two purchases. I'll share those with you guys when we get back to the car because I'm purposely sweating right now. Lost my friends and oh my gosh, really distracted by cute dogs. But just came across this and look at how pretty. I feel like I kind of veered away from like the silk slip dresses for a bit, but now I really want one because it's so hot out. And it'd just be nice to slip on, you know? Oh my god, I can I can taste my sweat right now. I don't know if that's TMI, but hmm. Boots and belts. And that's oh yeah. Thank you. I remember when we said Oh my gosh, this <gasps> Oh that looks so nice on you, Sarah. Look at this girl. We would never die. What's the verdict? Huh. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength today. This is so cute. And it does come with another one. Oh my, another yeah, just, this is <laughs> one boot that goes in yeah. the bag. I love that. I don't really know if I'm supposed to be in here. Kind of motto today. And I found this Rod Stewart tee to add to the collection. And I literally love the Saturday Night, Night Fever soundtrack. So I'm like, do I buy this tin? Literally a trash can, but this is going in my office. I want an old phone so bad, like, can you see these ones? So, the vlog is seeing them. Not me. For you. Cute. I got something special over here. Have a good one. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Oh, the trucker hat. I'm trying to leave my trash outside. By the other truck. <laughs> Struggling. And you literally buy a trash can, so you have to just leave it outside. Pretty. I got the trash can you guys are sitting on. I got that. 
that and where is this? Another Rod Stewart t-shirt. Oh, the guy was definitely bargaining. I probably could have gone him down less, but he did 50 for the two of them together. And this is Rod Stewart Santana. Love the vibes, gonna add that to the collection. I got this jacket for 40. You guys already saw, I just love how it's like corset-esque and the lady and I were talking about this tag. Le Chateau, I believe is Canadian, but that tag is like super, super unique. And then I got this really cool tray. I'm thinking to put it on our credenza. Mid-century vibes, you know what I mean? It was $10, like literally such a steal. And same lady, so for 15, I got this Duran Duran t-shirt, which I absolutely love. I think the fit of it's gonna be super nice. <laughs> So I did a shoe change for driving purposes. Oh my gosh, this is my third shoe change of the day. That's okay. We are at Goodwill. Maybe I'll find another pair of shoes. Just kidding, I don't need that. Just strolling down the aisles with my friends. You guys know I've been looking for a chocolate brown blazer. This one could be good. It could be very good. Holy cow, what is this? Wait. This is a gem. My red game is on fire today. Oh, I love this. Oh, guys, everything red. That was it. You can take the shoes I'm in. This reminds me of the with jean dress that everyone's like trying to be over on TikTok, but I love this. I think it's vintage. Also, I feel like tops like this are usually good this fall. Like floofy, not floofy, but like fringy. I'm kind of tempted by that one, but it's $8, so. I know I would get more wear out of this one. I don't know if it's gonna fit. I feel like the whole intention is to be drapey like that. But the fall vibes are here in Guelph. That's really cute. Good job. <laughs> Guys, I'm not making this red thing, this red story up. Taylor Swift is playing right now. What is going on? What is going on? Let me know. I'm not even a Taylor Swift fan, so. Also, I know. I've been loving these bags, so I just thought, instead of being like, oh, this is trendy, because honestly, wear whatever you want. But I think these bags are great. They're so cute. They go great with cowboy boots. Okay. Or sandals, whatever. Look how the tea is. Almost. This is Matt and Matt. That's, a, Matt. that's a really good brand. I think I might get this. So now that my first trip for Daniel was a success, I can't stop looking for things for him and I really want him to like wear some baggy sweaters. I mean he wears baggy, that's a given, but like, you know, the 90s like skater boy sweaters like this. So I feel like if I try and put him on it right now, it's a little too soon because no one else is wearing it. And then I can steal them too. Aha. This looks more or less like one of those water trucks. Hmm. All the dresses for each other because I pulled this one and I was like, this is for Annie. Even though I like it. It's literally like a little baby one. Yeah, look, it's oh, really wait, cute. That's so cute. That is such a neat one. I know, and you found this one. And that's that weird. Cute. You guys should like try <laughs> each other. We can try each other's styles okay. too. That one okay, so looks so good on you. everything in there, so I'm just gonna do a couple of things. I think you guys probably missed like where did the waist of the page. When was the last time we were in a change room? I can actually do trials for you guys. Okay, up number one, what do we think? Like a pair of jeans. Okay, wait. I actually love this skirt and I didn't really expect that. I just found it in the swim section randomly, but it's not a swim skirt. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, here's the fairy dress Annie found for me. Um, hello. With a little 
silver shoe. Some function to go to. I don't know where this would be appropriate. Maybe a Halloween costume. Maybe, but it is cute. So here's everything that I did get, plus literally everything I tried on. I got this little camisole for $4. It's super, super soft on the bottom. Um, Not something I would typically grab these days, but I think it could be cute. Okay, this one did not have a tag, but you're loving this like kind of liquidy look that this is giving. I believe it was like $4 as well. And I always need to remind myself to buy more like basic, well-fitted pieces. I don't know how anyone used to get their boobs into these things. I don't, even, I don't even have boobs. Sadly, the last $4 item is this really stinking cute but extremely claustrophobic BB cami tank. I'm obsessed with it. Again, great for Larry. Okay, so I've heard about this brand before, Diamond Dust, I think it's called. And they make these really cool vintage t-shirts that have like glitter on them. I'm sorry, let me just, it's a glittery red car vintage car t-shirt. I could not be more obsessed. Okay, was this shirt worth $8? What do we think? What do we think? Ooh, I really like this. It's super slinky. I'd have to do up the sleeves, but we don't have time for that today. But just a nice little black shimmy moment to wear at nighttime or during day. Who says you can't wear this during the daytime? All the sweaters were $8. By the brand Kurt Mueller. Let's see it on. I'm excited. I think my fall wardrobe is complete. I went to wear it with this tank top underneath, but imagine like a nudish one, you nude corset kind of thing. I love it. And the last item that you guys have yet to see anywhere in this haul, I guess, is this amazing sweater. Doesn't have a brand, unfortunately, but it's giving like unif vibes and oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I love the subtle like rainbow gradient on it. It's not too crazy. Like you could definitely wear it with something like this and it wouldn't be too loud, but oh, I love a good zip up. Zip up sweaters are so freaking underrated, you guys. Go get you one, they're the new cardigan. I'm, I'm saying it here first. For those that will ask, the red jacket was only $10, the blazer was $10, and it was a lovely little thrift trip, and as I'm filming this, you guys, yeah! I've been internally thinking about this all day because I haven't spoken to my friends yet, but you best believe we will be heading over the border very soon, so leave me your comments down below. Love you guys, I'm gonna go wash this up, and see you soon.